Hello everyone, welcome to the second part of our retrofit application tutorial. So, in the previous video, I just show you how you can uh, access the application ID and API keys uh, in the readermom.com uh, website. So, uh, as I have said, you need to sign up to get your own application keys and application ID okay so because we need to use this one uh, whenever we are going to uh, call a data within this online website so I'll just go to the dashboard and let us explore uh, the API uh, that they have uh, provided so we can test on how we can get the object from their uh, API so right here in the API stack you can uh, select uh, what API you are going to use so in my case I will just uh, use this one so this is API after we click the uh, API so we can uh, try to send a request uh, to, their to their database so they have the okay so this is where you are going to select with their what type of land uh, you are using if you want to use it for free you can uh, select the uh, developer so it, it, it offer you the API cost limit 10,000 per month uh, 15 minute per call so uh, we can use these features so we can just I uh, uh, use the recipe data and including a title so we can uh, include the food ID so there are so many uh, data that we can still use even in the free plan so result per call up to 100 results so uh, month to month contract duration so after that you can click the try API demo uh, so now we are now in the uh, API demo. Okay. Now in, uh, click in the documentation. So go to the documentation. Okay. So this is where you are going to test. So uh, you can read it if you want. So you can read all the details here. So we have the base URL. So you can. Uh, so we can copy this one so the base URL so base URL so this is uh, the uh, base URL so we need to copy that base URL so after we copy the base URL we also need to copy the uh, this one so this is the method uh, of getting the recipe so we can copy this one actually we can copy this one so I'll just copy this one put it and write the get method so we can actually put uh, the value on the uh, as parameter in the constructors now uh, uh, remember that this method will uh, work to the recipe so when we are going to search so right here uh, this is the mode scheme so that we need to uh, define in our uh, java class so uh, we need to copy this one. I will copy the model scheme because we are going to create this one. 
uh, in our Java app. I will go and copy it. So I'll copy and I will go back to the studio. In the uh, packets, I will create a new package called JSON files. Okay. Inside uh, of this file, so I'll call it uh, model. So I'll uh, call uh, or recipe model. I'll just call it uh, recipe recipe model. That is it. And inside of this file, I will just uh, paste the uh, what we have copied from the website. So now, uh, let us analyze this one. So as reference uh, for our Java model. So we try to uh, a JSON object because it start with the curly bracket. So that is mean that the data that it will be a return. So will be a JSON object. So because it start uh, with the curly braces, curly so or curly bracket. So inside of data, inside of that data, we can see uh, some attribute fields. So. Uh, that we also include into our application UI. So if we want to include the, uh, the from attribute, so we need to define it uh, with the integer data type because the value is number. So we can define it into the Java class when we are going to create the model. So we we can define it integer. So. We don't start. Uh, we just go and check the time. So we are in the uh, seven minutes. So we go. Uh, I will just cut the video uh, tutorial, so guys. So uh, we will just go creating a uh, model class in the next video. So I'm following you in the next video. So spread out of the video. So please be sure to subscribe to support my channel. And if you have some questions, uh, please write it in the comment box. So, if you want to uh, follow this tutorial, so uh, be sure to watch till the very end of this video. So, thanks for the See you in the next video.